So my name's Hannah. I was originally a physicist. I studied a master's in physics and then during my studies was when I really discovered that I loved programming. So after I graduated, I moved into software engineering and into computer science. And now I work at CERN as a trust and identity engineer. And what that means is that myself and my colleagues, we make sure that the right researchers have access to the right data, the right services at the right time. And ideally, it's done in a way that balances security with usability. There's no point having a 100% secure system if nobody is able to use it. So that's one aspect where I, I feel very strongly. So before I moved into computer science, I think I was quite worried that my day would look like me sitting alone, probably in a basement with a computer. And in reality, none of my time looks like that. Of course, I do spend the majority of my time with a computer, but really 80% of my day I spend talking to people. And that's people here at CERN, that's people from all around the world. And it's really very social and collaborative. And that's something I love about my field, interest in identity. It's a lot about building relationships with people. I had a baby this time last year. Uh, so in January 2022 and whilst I was still on maternity leave I was given the role of being responsible for the identity and access management section here at CERN. So when I came back there was a lot of change. I think it's probably never easy to move into management. I did it on sleep deprivation so it was probably harder for me than it needed to be but I was really pleased to be asked. Um, it's a time when the IT department here is changing, the strategy is changing, the priorities are changing, as there are many other organisations, particularly academic organisations around the world. One, so how do I balance my home life with my work life? So one thing that was really important to me uh, was that I chose a partner with whom I can be an absolute equal at home. For me, that's something important. For other, other people, other women, maybe it's not so important, but for me, that's something that I took a very active decision. Uh, so I'm completely sure that myself and my partner can do absolutely everything at home. So I can go away on a business trip and not have to worry that my daughter and my husband are, are not doing so well at home. That's all completely taken care of and fine. Another thing I make sure I do is I'm very strict with my hours. Partially because I have to be, because the crash closes, so I have to pick up my daughter. And also because I want to be. I want to spend a couple of hours in the evening before she falls asleep playing with her, building that relationship. And I hope that in the future, when she looks back to when she was little, she will remember that both of her parents took on complex technical challenges and that, that her home life was, was balanced. And hopefully that inspires her to take on similar projects in the future. So I think our field, like most technical fields, is not yet equal for men and women. It is harder to build your reputation as a technical woman. And this is something that I'm very aware of. All of these things that you hear about and don't necessarily recognize unless it happens to you have happened to me. So being interrupted in meetings, having my ideas regurgitated by somebody else to great applause. Um, the small things that, that build up over time. And I think that does happen here as it does in most technical communities. One thing that's very frustrating is that many women who don't necessarily come from technical backgrounds but have been contributing to these technical communities that we're all a part of for over 20 years are not necessarily given the respect that they deserve and their ideas are not necessarily taken with the same level of importance as their male colleagues and I think that's somewhere where we can all be really aware. I know in my case I'm lucky because I can turn around if I need to and say actually I studied physics at university and that does boost my credibility as frustrating as that is it shouldn't be like that but it does and it makes people take my ideas more seriously. I think somewhere else we need to recognise that we don't have equality is when a service goes wrong which it does services go wrong IT services go wrong if they don't go wrong they're probably not being used they're not being improved um, and when a service that is maintained by a woman goes wrong, in my opinion, people are more likely to say that the woman is not doing a good job, rather than if it's maintained by a male colleague, they might think, actually, this is a really difficult service and it's just a hard problem to be solved. 
So I think there are certain areas where we all need to be aware that we're not necessarily treating people equally.